is a simp. This is about Daddy Freeze. People calling him, some people calling him a simp because he's divorced and he's married another woman who came in with children. He's taking care of these children as his own. And we are also saying that he's not taking care of his own children. But in the past, he's given the reason that his wife took the children away and he doesn't have access to them. And now he's caring for those children that his new wife came in uh, as if he's their own father. And people are calling him, some people are calling him a simp. Not only do I want us to address a situation like where a man is taking care of another woman's, another man's children as his own, I also want us to actually talk about the meaning of the word simp that people are throwing around because it appears that every time, actually let me leave it, let me allow other people to, when we get in. Okay, thank you for being with us. <laughs> yes. I I'm not sure what the simp is. Mm. I'm not even sure it's 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 in the it's in the dictionary. However, I know it's like a contemporary word or something because I've seen it in um, in I've seen it on Twitter. But but when I see "sim" being used on Twitter, they just use it to. It seems like it seems like when a man is actually doing the right thing, because like I see posts on Twitter where someone actually talks about how to treat a woman well and all that. And someone in the comments will call him a simp or maybe so I, I don't know what the meaning of simp is but from what, when i have seen it used it just looks like maybe when a man is doing what maybe the uh, the society would not expect him to do mm. right so maybe something that goes against the grain maybe I, i've seen it like okay like maybe when a man says he cooks or cleans uh -huh. And they now say, oh, oh, you're a simp. Or when they, a man says something that actually makes sense, maybe how not to treat women or something, they call him a simp. You call it making sense. You're talking about, it, it, how do you mean, actually, making sense? What do you mean by that? Because no, to no, you, okay. it makes sense. What do you mean? Oh, okay, you know what? Okay, the, the standard thing on Twitter, you know, you know the standard trash on Twitter, for talking against women, if you're above 30, this, or, or, or maybe a woman talks about bad behavior, Maybe she doesn't tolerate, and someone retorts with, "You will be there. You will be there. You are going to die old and alone." Okay. So, so maybe when a man actually now comes up, mm -hmm. so if you see any post, maybe if if you see any post, maybe talking about a woman being independent, making it, and all that, you always see someone in the comments saying, oh, "But you're not married." So when a man now comes up to counter these things, mm -hmm. right? Maybe to say a woman can be depend independent. A, a man. A man can be be at home and take care of his children. A man can marry a single mother. A man can, you know, all that. Then people in the comments now turn around and call him a sin. So I don't know the word for sin, but like I said, when I've seen it being used on Twitter, I think it's actually when when male commenters on Twitter manage to make sense, and then other men will call them. Manage we'll to call make them sense. Sins. Okay. Okay. okay so Let me. I am. I'm, I'm just hearing the word. First time today, so I went. You're hearing for first time today, really? I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm not current like that. Actually, you I'm are not saying, current. That's what it means. But I, I have never heard the word. So I, I had to. Oh really? But I was like, when I was discussing on something, let me Google what it means. So Google is just like, so here goes. Someone who shows excessive sympathy and attention toward. So sim. Is an internet slang term describing someone who shows excessive sympathy and attention toward another person, typically to someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings in pursuit of affection or a sexual relationship. Mm. Another thing, the meaning of a sin is a foolish or stupid person. Mm. A simple thing. Then I said, let me continue. <laughs> continue. As of September 1st, 2020, a sin is a slang insult for men mm -hmm. who are seen as too attentive mm -hmm. and submissive mm -hmm. to women, especially wow. out of prevailed hope of winning some entitled. Hold on. Out of a field, field. That's this conversation is getting us suddenly more interesting. <laughs> of winning some entitled sexual attention. 
mm. or activity from them. Okay. The word sin is meant to troll, troll young men for doing anything for a girl to get some action he supposedly deserves. Interesting. Okay, so let's, um, can I, okay, so since you're just hearing the word today, I won't ask you, I won't bamboozle you by asking you this question. Onye, what, do you think that there are some men who are sins? Hmm? The slang has been criticized hmm. for stereotyping such men as effeminate hmm. and implies women are manipulative sexual objects. However, the term is also evolving some more general senses of liking someone akin to the slang stand. If telling his girlfriend he will always be there for her makes him a simp, then I guess he's been simping for a long time now. So aren't all our husbands going to be turned simps? <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so let me first go back because you're getting me let me first go back because before you make me derail from the conversation i like this thank you for giving those um definitions uh, affection or a sexual relationship mm -hmm. oh, okay i see, I see. Listen, beautiful listen in post someone toward another person typically to someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings what these people are looking for they're looking for an excuse to not be to not be loving they're looking for an excuse to get away with bad behavior and so that's why they just want to push down anybody who is able to, who is able to be emotionally um, attracted and expressive to someone else. They want to push down those people so that they can be like them because misery loves company. Because the word simp, it has, I found, I have found it so, so painful because when people are bandying it out there, they're making people just choose to be hard and wicked. I mean, because they are, they are now trying to make it look as if just showing dedication and love to someone is simping. Let me go back to a man who takes care of the children that another woman has come with. What does it tell? What does it, does it, okay, let me not put, does it necessarily tell us that that man is a simp? Or in fact, let it me even ask. He simply loves his wife. Let me, let me. New spouse. Okay, you know what? Before we do and that, before we do that, all she comes with. before we do and that, let 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 me ask you this question: Do you believe that a man can be a simp? Do you believe that a man can be a simp? Well, good, going from the definitions that Jerry just read out, yes, and um, the, the difference with that is that this person is doing this. We talk. Oh no 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 no. Okay okay. But from those definitions, yeah, I, I guess they are men like that. Let me yes. let me even so, refine yeah. what Ajiri read out. Let me refine because my belief of what a simp is is a man who would like lay down his head on the ground that you are walking on, so that you can walk all over him and get him to do your bidding, and he's always ready to please you even when it doesn't work for him, when it's inconvenient for him, he makes a fool of himself, makes a, makes a spectacle of himself just to make this woman happy. That is what I've always believed is simp to be. So that is even... That hmm? Is that no, did you hear what I said? I said even when, when it's inconvenient and it's making a spectacle of him, like lay down his head on the ground that you working on so that you can walk all over him and get him to do your bidding and he's always ready to please you even when it doesn't work for him when it's inconvenient for him he makes a fool of himself makes a, makes a spectacle of himself just to make this woman happy even when you the woman would ask him to do certain things that go against his principles against his beliefs he will do just anything to make her happy do you think that that is love is that, do you think that that is love? Did the Bible not say that Jesus laid down his life for the body of Christ? Are you trying to be funny? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did the Bible not say a man should lay down his life for Christ? No, but for real, are you being... No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit this part now. Are you being real? Okay, don't edit it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want you to be sure. I want you to be sure. Okay, that's good. That's good. Where do we draw the line 
between someone is in love with somebody mm -hmm. and is ready to do anything for that person. Okay, and okay, okay. Maybe I should maybe I should be more detailed. Let me give a, a scenario. So let's say let's okay, say I won't. Okay, so I'm glad that you give me the permission to because I was just going to take out the little bit. Okay, so let's say that uh this man you know, a simp will do this, in my in my opinion. A simp will do this. He, um, she, he says, I will be back from my trip on Tuesday. And then when he comes back on Tuesday, I'll be back at, at um, 2 p.m. And then on, on Tuesday, she goes to work. or she, No, she goes to her friends. She goes away to her friends. And she gets back to the house at 7 p.m., knowing that he would have been home at 2 p.m. So she gets back She gets back home at 7 p.m. And he says, what happened? You, are, you weren't here. I told you I would be home at 2 p.m. And she says, well, I was having fun with my friends. And he says, but I was expecting and hoping that you would be here to welcome me. And she says, well, I have a life, you know? And then he, he will... And then he will be like, okay, are you... Are you, you seem like in, you're in a bad, well, let me see. Or maybe she now starts, she's being grumpy, she's being disrespectful, she's being rude. And then he will say, you seem like you're in a bad mood. Did anything happen? And then she will say, nothing happened, just leave me alone. In fact, I don't, I don't feel like talking. And then she goes away to another part of the house and he follows her and says, I'm so sorry if I did anything, forgive me. That is to me. That is simping. What is that to you? A man that wants peace. A man that, to you, that's a man that wants peace. That's a man that loves his wife and a man that wants peace. It's interesting how we have different definitions of this thing. I want to ask you: Is her behavior? What? What do you think? What? What is her behavior then? A woman that doesn't want peace. Irrespective of her behavior, he has yes. chosen this peace over a bad behavior. Yeah, but this is if he does this and she does, maybe she's done this, she's always been doing this. And he, and if he continues to do this, he continues to want his peace, so he continues to do this. So, what kind of relationship are they now going to have? She's just, she's just gonna be domineering. No, the reason we're having this conversation is you know, the reason we're having this because, because, because the word simp it has i found i have found it so so painful because when people are banding it out there they're making people just choose to be hard well, and wicked hmm? yeah but I, but we've explained certain yeah, things so forget about the word now well, i've explained the scenario to you and if you're saying that it's a man that wants peace let's twist let's turn that around so if it's happening with a woman this is a woman that wants peace that will still be the, the answer right it's a woman that yeah. wants peace okay but what what and most women, they see their husband grumpy, misbehaving, they'll keep trying to placate him. Okay. So, Onye, what, what do you see about my definition now with that? And what do you think this individual, whether it's the man or the woman, whoever it is that is in those shoes where they're being treated with disrespect like that, how, what do you see about that in your relationship? Do you, th do you see the person as someone who wants peace? What do you see? Yeah, yeah, literally, let me hear. Yeah, I have seen an alarming number of people, you know, mm. who, who don't want to rock the boats. I've seen people literally run away from confrontation. I've mm. seen people literally less. So I understand how someone can take that because they want peace. Is this about running I, away I from confrontation or is it about not wanting to upset that person because you want to continue to? Boats. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. So I understand how someone can take that behavior because they want peace. Because maybe they've done, they have weighed yeah. their options and they see that maybe just, uh, I don't know, it's just better that way. But it wouldn't make me call them simps. I, 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 don't, I we wouldn't. Okay. So now, do you, do you like that um, approach of wanting peace? What do you, how do you see no, it? No, no, it like wouldn't it? be my approach, of course. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not asking I, if you will do I, it. I I'm not asking if you will, I'm, then... I'm not asking if you will do it, first of all. I'm asking yeah. if... If you if you like it if so, if you are watching someone and this is their approach at having peace, how does it come across to you? If I'm watching someone external, like I'm watching yes. them and it's not me. Yes. Well, well, I would feel sorry for them. I would I would wish they they would handle it better. Okay. So Ajiri talked about didn't the Bible say 
that um, a man should lay, lay down his life for. And also, you talked about that's the meaning, that is love. So to you, that is love. That's unconditional love. That's what you're saying. Okay, so now, let me ask all over again. So a man that responds like this and the woman that responds like this, are you... Are, so what you said that that is a man that wants peace. That's a person that wants peace. Is it part of the Bible talking about laying down your life? Is that does that still follow there? Does that follow there? Because that was what you said before. Okay. Yeah, I agree with this. You agree that what? No, I agree with that. You respect my son. It, it's, it's not more of laying down your life. Mm. It's more of as much as is possible with you. Live mm. at peace with all men. Wow. Okay, so this is I yeah. this is part of what creates the problems that we have in relationships because she does maybe she's done this, she's always been doing this and he and if he continues to do this. So what kind of relationship are they going to have? So what is the point of the relationship? When you are with another human being, right? It's not me trying to stir up trouble now. It's not that. It's not because I have a I have strong head. It's not that. The question is this. I was, so when you see your own child and your own child is at the receiving end of this and this is what happens to them every day, day in, day out, day in, day out and you know that they're not happy it's a different thing if the person doesn't you know, some people don't take offense you know, some people don't take offense so if, if, the thing does, if the person doesn't mind and they don't take offense at that that's one thing but if it, if it hurts and the person is going to be crying about it every day but they, are, they continue to do it because they want peace. They don't want to rock the boat and they don't want this person to be upset. And that's a different thing, right? Because you're doing this, you're you are very unhappy and you're doing this. So now that I have reframed this and I've put, I've put your child before you, you're watching your child, maybe you're on, you are on vacation, you're in their house and you're seeing your child going through this every day and crying, sad and unhappy. But every day when that thing happens, your child responds again with keeping peace with that person. Would your perspective change? I've thought of my child enough to make the right decisions for each circumstance he or she is in. Mm. I believe my child knows what they will tolerate and what they wouldn't tolerate. Mm. And I believe children will have a mood. Please speaking for my own child, mm. who have a to set the pace for what they will take and not take in their marriages. So it's not happen. It won't happen. Okay, I, I won't press okay. you on that. I won't press you on that. Here's here's what I would like to say about this. Hmm? I'd like to say that if you're doing this and it doesn't bother you at all, it doesn't bother you, then it's actually right because we cannot use our own um, standards. You know, you can't give other people your own standards to tell them that you shouldn't tolerate this. So those are some of the mistakes that we're making. To so come out and tell people you cannot tolerate this because everybody has to. Everybody knows their own threshold. Everybody has their threshold. And and if somebody feels okay, and if somebody feels okay um, to to accept a certain kind of behavior, I cannot be looking at them and then call them aside and say, How can you allow them to treat you this way? Right? Because a person has their own relationship and they know the dynamics of it and they are good with it. But when I'm looking at it, I know that by normal standards not even my own standards this is just wrong because you don't treat another human being with disrespect right you don't treat another human being with dis disrespect and if i am in a relationship where i am accepting this there is no kind of something has got to be missing somewhere in my head for me to feel that i have to do this for peace and in fact the fact that i'm saying that i have to do it for peace shows that the other person is not wanting peace with me so i'm saying to myself that for us to have peace i have to accept this madness for us to have peace if i actually have a human being behaving like that i'm not going to even see it as love i'm going to see it as what could be the reason why this person has absolutely no respect for themselves do you understand and what what that now does is that for the person behaving like that and this is why people say when you behave uh, like you love them too much, they will maltreat you. The reason I am mentioning this is because someone said that today and I said, no, not, that's, not, that's not true. The only person who will maltreat you because you're showing that you love them too much 
is either is, is actually someone who you shouldn't even be in a relationship with in the first place because how can I not appreciate someone who loves me, right? Now, but if they're behaving in this way now, I am now going to lose respect for them because I cannot mistreat you and you accept it. I will now not have respect for you. And in a relationship where you don't have respect, you by yourself, for accepting that behavior, you are creating issues in that relationship and we don't realize it. We create issues in our relationships by allowing this respect to sit in the relationship. It's really funny because even between two children who you gave birth to, you will not watch this and be okay with it. So I don't know why all of a sudden different rules apply when it comes to romantic relationships. No, no, Uchi, I'm sorry. Ah, I, I, I have given you another name. No, it's not about being okay with it. Mm -hmm. It's about even if you're not okay with it, okay, mm -hmm. what can you do? So, so you call probably you try to meet them, um, intervene, maybe to, to talk to your child. Why are you allowing this? That, that, that. Stop. Perhaps talk to the other person. Mm. Why are you treating your husband like this? That, that, that. But that, that's that's all you can do. Or is there more you can do? Okay. So why would you say that? You, the reason you're saying that is because you feel that your observation has now told you, you've now acknowledged that somebody is treating the other person wrong, and the other person yeah. is. That, that's what you've acknowledged by yourself now, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that's where I wanted to get to because if you can remove the idea that this is a person with whom I'm in a relationship, a romantic relationship with, it's very easy to see clearly when someone is doing what they shouldn't be doing and when someone is doing because the reason why people say I want peace, you just don't have the strength to do what you know that you should do, you know, because I'm not even saying that you should fight with people, right? Because I never recommend fighting. I say that. For people who want to address it, not everybody wants to address it, right? Some people would rather just go through the hell than address it. But for someone who wants to address it, and you should address it, it's to call them. You call them and tell them that this is not proper behavior. Would you like it? Do you, and why don't you treat them back that way if there's nothing wrong with it? Why don't you do it back to them? You know. So would you like it if I did it to you? Or you do it to them and see if they complain. And then, but although I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend going in that route. But I just want us to stop the excuses because people will be writing, oh, they treat me so unfairly and they treat me so unfairly. And nobody is treating you unfairly unless you have decided to accept it because it's another human being. I don't think that we hold guns to the people that we're in relationships with, except when we're in an abusive relationship where we feel that if we talk, we're just going to get ourselves beaten up kind of thing. I, I, I want people to feel, to know that we have the strength and it's only, and, and especially Christians because Christians are very disobedient when it comes to love your neighbor as yourself. And if you cannot even do that, then I question your belief in God. Actually, I do question it. If you cannot even see yourself as a person that was made in a way that God loves and for you to allow someone to treat and trample on something that God made and you, you place one person above the other person. That means you have now turned to idolatry. That's what it is. It's now idol worship because the other person is so above that you cannot speak. You see yourself as someone who is little and beneath them. That is what it is. But I say yeah, again... <laughs> I, 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 would, I would advocate for Christians here. Hmm? They might not be seeing themselves less than... But that's but what it is. There's no other explanation. <laughs> I'm just trying to say because what people do is every day you win and put this and send a message and say this. And I'm saying, you don't need to do this. You don't need to be sending this thing and putting it out there because the power actually lies in your hand. The power lies in your hand. But what, what frightens people is that they feel that they need to fight. But you don't need to fight. And that's why I keep on shouting. You, you don't need to fight. You only need to have a conversation. I see people, your relationship will even be better the more you speak. Try it. Anybody who hears this, just try it. Try it and see. Without fighting, you will see how your relationship will improve. All of a sudden, the person will see you in a bright, brand new light and see you as someone who is worthy. But the more you keep on putting yourself down and under, you are down and under and will be using you as a footmat. Who wants to be in a relationship with someone that they're using as a footmat? And that's why we talk about sins. That's why nobody is going to, no women are going to respect those men who make a fool of themselves by acting that way. That's just what it is. And that's why they say, oh, nice guys 
nobody respects nice guys women don't like nice guys it's not about being nice Na being nice everybody wants, wants some people to be nice to them but we don't want you to act like a fool when you're acting like a fool you have no respect and that's just what it is with the person who is that they want uh, things to just be okay you want things to be okay with the relationship but you yourself are not okay you know so that's how it is okay let, let's now go back to the man who is taking care of another woman another man's children uh is that same thing No, I would say no. Absolutely, it's not simping because I mean because they are they are now trying to make it look as if just showing dedication and love to someone is simping. So please, uh, freeze who is taking care of his wife's children. I think that he's doing a very good thing, and I'm very proud of him. That is not simping. And now that Adri has given us the definition of simping, you can see the difference. It's about somebody who would make a fool of themselves so that they can have the favor of the person with whom they're in a relationship and it's not about being good to the person that you're in a relationship with we're just creating issues for ourselves and that thing breaks my heart Let's, that hmm? of that woman and her children is not him being a sin. absolutely not i'm proud of that i'm proud love. of that it shows and love and dedication you don't yes. just love the woman you love what she comes yes to. Because some people will say they can't love a, a single mom, right? Uh, they cannot take a single mom. And it just shows that... All it just means is that you haven't seen yourself uh, loving that woman. That's just what it is. It's not anything about um, if I do that, I'm a simp. You know? But if you want to, to be watching what people are going to say about you, expressing your love, then that's fine. Walk away from the people that you care about so that you are not a simp in their eyes. Your choice.